to uh, receive it's the George Gund uh, award and I knew George Gund very well and so I think it would make him smile to think I was winning the award <laughs> that he's uh, supported and uh, uh, it's just very touching to be at this point in my life and and have uh, have this uh, recognition I've made seven documentaries about behind the scenes of my family making their movies and so it's kind of fun to be uh, on the front of the camera and uh, be recognized for this life's work. work. Well I had this uh, trip in uh, France that uh, had these kind of funny experiences and when I got back home I was telling a friend about the uh, the trip that I'd taken with this Frenchman unexpectedly, and we were laughing, and she said, that's the movie I'd like to see. And uh, it never had dawned on me, but I just uh, was kind of at a point in time when it seemed like kind of a kick to try to write a screenplay. And uh, I got a program for my computer, and I started writing. And Little by little, I, then I finally, after I had about 45 pages, I asked some professional if I was wasting my time. And I was encouraged to keep going, and it was a, uh, a journey. <laughs> it took six years to raise the money and find the cast and complete the script. And it was fun to work on a fiction feature because I'd always worked on documentaries, and this way I could add in anything that I wanted, anything that. Uh, interested me could be part of this film and it was a new experience and I just followed it like this journey. Well I think in the beginning my husband he wasn't very he wasn't encouraging because I think he felt like I'd never really be able to get it done and uh, and he just I think he didn't want me to be hurt by all the uh, all the bumps in the road all the things that, you know all the times I would be disappointed and I'd be heartbroken because I couldn't make it happen or I'd have a crisis that I couldn't solve so he uh, he wasn't really too encouraging except at one point he said well you ought to direct it and uh, that was a surprise to me and I took a directing cl class and I took a um, an acting class to see what that was like and uh, so I mean he was kind of encouraging but not encouraging but finally, when I was really in France and I had a couple of crises, he w stepped in and solved some uh, problems from his lifelong experience he knew how to fix, which I didn't know how, and uh, saved the production a couple times and was very helpful. And I had been trying to find uh, an actress from the beginning, and I'd interviewed many, and I actually interviewed with Diane and uh, offered her the part, but she turned it down, and, and and then a year later I came back and asked her again, and she was uh, available. So I thought I could raise the money. It's, you know, making a film is a catch-22. If you don't have the cast, you can't get the money. If you don't have the money, you can't get the cast because they want to know when it's starting. And, and um, so it's to align those two opposing forces is... Uh, the real uh, a sticky point. So I had Diane, I thought, oh, this is good now, I'm gonna be able to raise the money. But the money was not available unless I had a strong male uh, actor that, so they gave me a list of these three or four men that would be acceptable. And uh, I did uh, finally was able to cast one of them. And But then about two weeks before I was supposed to shoot with him, he was, this other actor was on a film that would would not release him in time for my um, uh, for my shoot, and I was totally desperate and struck, and you know, just uh, stuck desperately. And Francis knew that, and we were calling everybody he'd ever worked with, and nobody was available. Da da da, da. and just by a freak of fate, I feel um, great luck. Alec Baldwin happened to call Francis and ask him to do a favor for him and come and help him host a, a fundraiser for a theater group that they were going to play Godfather music and he wanted Francis there. And, and Francis said, I can't come, I'm going to be out of the country on that date, but would you please uh, do a favor for me and go and be in my wife's movie? <laughs> 
And of course he said no, and there was a lot of back and forth, but finally he did come, and he was very professional and great, and he really did the part well, so I felt just like it was, you know, <laughs> just one of those lucky moments. <laughs>